Living in regret is like walking through life backwards. You would not be able to see where you're going because you're too focused on where you've been. It's okay to glance back there every now and again for the purpose of seeing how far you have come, but you never want to look too long because you may crash and burn. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. I hope that you all are having an amazing day. Welcome to Coffee and Coaching. I am your coach, Coach Michelle Monet, your certified life and relationship coach. And here at Coffee and Coaching, we stimulate conversations to energize relationships. And we do that by talking about some questions that have been posed to me um, by either through my email at let's talk at coachmichellemonet.com. Or we do that uh, with questions that have been posed to me through Quora um, and some other platforms that I am a part of um, and have been for years answering questions. Um, but we usually go into what today's coffee is before we do any of that. So today's coffee is a Cake Boss coffee. And I thought, you know, it's named Cake Boss, right? So I like the case Cake Boss show. Uh, anybody have seen that show? It was a really good show. Uh, with all these cake makers and stuff like that. So I thought that it would be pretty good in getting that. It's called a Buddy's Blend. It is a medium roast coffee. It's a little bitter for my taste. Um, it's really bold. I don't know why they keep talking about these medium roasts. I, I'm going to have to really, I have a couple of um, bold roast coffees upstairs that I'm going to drink um, before I get into my new batch that's coming tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to see the difference because I think that this is bold. And if they're talking about a medium roast is bold, then, hey, we need to see what the real bold roast is. So let's go get into today's uh, thing. So before we do that, please make sure that you like coming, commenting and sharing. If you've tuned into this, then share it. It's all right. Share it and forget about it. You don't have to worry about it anymore because sharing is caring. I keep telling you all that. So make sure that you're sharing and liking, commenting. Tell me what you would do in the case of these situations. I would love to hear that. So let's move on into today's question. So the gentleman said, how do you convince your mind to stop thinking of should have, could have thoughts about past unpleasant incidences? And this is what I told him. Living in regret is like walking through life backwards. You would not be able to see where you're going because you're too focused on where you've been. It's okay to glance back there every now and again for the purpose of seeing how far you have come. But you never want to look too long because you may crash and burn. The best way to get out of the woulda, coulda, shoulda mindset is through forgiveness. First, by forgiving yourself and then anyone else that has had a part in that situation. Once you forgive yourself and others, then look at those situations and take them as lessons. Even the things you didn't actually do are lessons. Why? Because every situation is a teachable moment. Then look at those situations, not as what you didn't do, but rather what you didn't do yet. Now, maybe because the people, places, or th places or times were not the right people, places, and times to experience those same things. You must understand everything that you think should happen is not always supposed to happen. Your life has a plan and you may not always understand nor believe that, but it does. Yes, of course, you can alter that plan and choose different paths, but you have to know it was originally designed for good. The more good you look for in your life, the more good that will come to you. And the woulda, coulda, shouldas don't look for good. They look for the things you didn't do right. You know, so know that whatever didn't happen wasn't supposed to, and that life is offering up an amazing alternative that in due time, that will be a joyful, that you will be joyful about. Lastly, make sure you're not viewing your life through someone else's lens. What and how someone else lives their life is not how you're supposed to live yours. And that's okay. Yes, you can have things and moments like theirs, but even those things and moments will never be exactly like theirs because there is this small but significant, dif significant difference, and that's you. So how you see, do, and experience things will still be unique only to you. Look at your life like an imperfect piece of amazing art that can be viewed by millions, appreciated by some, and truly valued by few. Just make sure you are part of the few that value it and you will 
always be on the right track. I hope that this helps. You know, so many times we uh, we have people that put their views on us or we take on their views like they're ours and they're not. You know, how someone else views you is not how you're going to view yourself. Um, my co-host says you can't look at the picture if you're part if you're inside the frame or something like that. <laughs> but I love the fact that you you our lives are unique. And how someone else views your life may not be the way that you view your life and it may not be the way that you need to view your life. Your life is just as it is the way that it's supposed to be. Of course, like I said earlier, you can alter some things. You can make some things go a little bit topsy-turvy through decisions that you make throughout life. But you have to understand whatever decision that you made at that time was the best decision that you made at that time. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the best decision five minutes from now or an hour from now or a year from now, but it was the best decision at that time. And when you start to live life like that, you have no time and room for regrets. I always say I have no regrets in my life and my life has been full of pain and sorrow and a lot of different things that people think that I should just walk around and in gloom about but I don't regret any of it. I believe that everything that has happened in my life did not happen to me, it happened for me. And when you start to look at those types of things that way, you can see the beauty in your life and you can understand the grace that you have upon your life so that you can walk around without wondering what you should have, would have, and could have done. I hope that this helps someone. Please again, like, comment, and share because liking and commenting and sharing is caring. If you know someone who has an amazing relationship story that you want highlighted on my coffee and coaching at night that I do every fourth Friday, please make sure that you comment or send me an email uh, at let's talk at coach .com. If you have an amazing product that you want to have um, highlighted on here, a book that you've done in regards to uh, uh, relationships, make sure that you comment on that too. Meet me over at my YouTube page on Friday morning. I'm going to be dropping a video at 6 a.m. It's already, it's premiering right now. Um, on Sunday, I have uh, we have a new show uh, called His and Her Perspective with me and my co-host, Vaughn, the Love Alchemist. We go up at 5 p.m. Central Standard uh, Eastern Standard Time every single Sunday. So make sure that you watch that because we're going to have an amazing uh, topic on this week. Um, I don't have the notes for that because I'm in coffee and coaching mode, but look out for the video that's going to be coming out to promote that. Um, if you have a question that you want me and me to answer, make sure that you email me over at let's talk at coachmichellemonet.com and visit my website at www.thecorewoman.com. I have a lot of different things going on over there, some products and services that you can uh, delve into in order to get confidence back, get your life back on track, do some things and get your life in the, in the place that you desire it to be and not about who other people desire it to be. I love y'all for real, for real. Make sure that you get some coffee today and make sure you love on somebody today real good. Talk to y'all later. Bye.